All right, we continue tracking the tropics. Harvey is strengthening in the Gulf of Mexico. It's expected to make landfall along the Texas coast very soon. And Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr joins us. This is expected to be a Category 3 storm as it makes landfall, and it's just going to be a big problem for Texas. A major problem because it's not going to move. It's going to be over there by Corpus Christi, but remember, it's not a point. It's a large area, and you can see how large it is. All right, let's look at what's happening because people were thinking, oh, we don't look too bad in southeast Louisiana. And we don't write the second, just some rain right along the coast, but that's actually associated with Harvey. We've got a frontal boundary that is stalled. That's going to act as a focus for the rain. Here is a look at Harvey, the center of it, 85 mile per hour hurricane moving northwest at 10 miles per hour, forecast to be a cat three when it makes landfall. So why didn't it intensify? Remember yesterday I was talking about that dry air? Still some dry air right there on the west side. This is where we have the hurricane warnings, a hurricane watch to the south, and basically flash flood watch for the entire area. Rain bands getting ready to move on shore. They are just offshore. So that's going to be the biggest issue with the system. Not only the storm surge, but the heavy rain that's going to fall Look at the spaghetti plot. I mean, it's like a fist right over Corpus Christi. It's going to hang out there for several days. And then it's forecast to move to the northeast. Hurricane Center, of course, they've got a large cone, which shows that there is a lot of uncertainty. But the track is actually staying over land at this point, some point or some uh, possibility that it could move offshore. But because of the circulation of the hurricane, all of that wave action, you're going to have some cooler air from below moving up as you go through time. So that's going to be helping us out. Here we are Tuesday, still a tropical storm, kind of close to Houston. You're going to have a big onshore flow. And over towards Lake Charles, that's going to be an issue, possible storm surge there. Water temperatures are warm now, but again, they should be cooling down as you get all of that wave action. Look at this. This is the rainfall forecast. 25 inches of rain possible over here towards Corpus Christi. But wait, southwest Louisiana, it too could get some very heavy rain. Southeast Louisiana, it's looking like the potential of 5 to 10 inches, but that's over seven days. All right, here is a look at our global forecast model. Frontal boundary is stalled. Here we are Friday, getting ready to move on shore. Moving on shore right there at Corpus Christi, hanging out. This is Saturday, very heavy rain. Look at southwest Louisiana and southeast Louisiana. We too are getting that rain moving in. This is Sunday and some heavy rain getting ready to move into southwest Louisiana. You have got to pay attention this weekend to what's going on. And then we could be dealing with it into next week. Why isn't it moving? Well, high pressure to the east is steering it right over here into Texas. And then this big upper high kind of builds in over it, holds it there for a while. Then we're getting this uh, trough of low pressure, picking it up and finally taking it to the northeast. Hey, today was hot, high temperature, 92 degrees, still really warm and humid, 84. A little bit cooler on the north shore now, but we're in the low to the mid 80 South Shore and those feel like temperature right here in the metro low to the mid 90s morning lows mid 70s to the low 80s high temperatures tomorrow are climbing into the low 90s tomorrow's going to be a decent day about a 30 percent chance of rain and at least the pollen is low from the rain that we've had I've got those winds increasing southeast 10 to 15 seas beginning to pick up neat tides why would you want to go fishing here is a look at your forecast three in the afternoon about 90 degrees Saturday and Sunday rain chances are going up you have to pay attention to it and then next week as the system finally begins to move out of Texas to the northeast we're going to see that potential for heavy rain Monday Tuesday Wednesday maybe even Thursday we'll be right back in the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney.
You have the right to take it down.